Hi folks, my name's Alan, welcome to uh, the Home Park View and today we are off to see Argyle versus Sheffield Wednesday and uh, both teams newly promoted to the Championship and not been faring particularly well. Sheffield Wednesday sitting bottom at the moment with only one win from the first 12 games but then Plymouth Argyle, you know, they're, they're sitting 21st uh, with 12, uh, 12 wins from the first 12 games. So it, it's still not great. I mean, however, uh, they are in a slightly better position. Uh, well, at least uh, three of those games they didn't deserve to lose. But hey, hey, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. You know, if you haven't got enough points, you'll go down. So, But I feel that uh, Plymouth have got it in them to win this. There's form there. And um, they've just got to keep finding. I mean, like the six-two against Norwich, they were outstanding, and, and and a lot of the other games. I mean, the Millwall game and also uh, Swansea. They 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 showed moments of that. Uh, it, it, they were just weak at the back, a bit soft in defence, which has unfortunately let them down. So hopefully tonight uh, they they'll have got it together. I think it was a, a great result against West Brom on the weekend. There, nil-nil draw with them away. Uh, tough team, uh, tough place to go to. The best of time. So. Yeah, you know, fair fair play. So I think uh, the draw there was pretty good going. So, uh, but uh, against bottom of the league now uh, in Sheffield Wednesday, uh, I we've we've got to be looking at a win, simple as that, and nothing less. So I, I'm predicting a win, and it should be I don't know two nil, two nil, three nil, even fingers crossed. So let's let's hope for that. Uh, I'll check in with you at half time, and uh, fingers crossed, we're on a winner. We'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> And it's plus five minutes now into the first half. Yeah! That 
definitely look like Richard Kitts today. You look like you just the, the defender pass it back to the goalkeeper. A bit short. Richard Hill went straight through. Okay, so that's half time. It's uh, Plymouth Argyle 2, Sheffield Wednesday 0. Uh, up until sort of about five, ten minutes before half time, it was a horrible, uh, itty bitty game. Uh, spoiled really by bad refereeing decisions. I mean, Plymouth Argyle came out in the first five or ten minutes and looked pretty good, pretty sharp. And then after that, it was even Stevens. In fact, if anything, it was, it was more uh, Sheffield Wednesday. They were sort of camped in Plymouth Argyle half. Uh, without actually doing anything, but uh, yeah, it was, it was just a really niggly game. It, was, it wasn't wasn't nice. Uh, Plymouth Argyle were not really closing down quick enough, and they were passing it around out the back and, and, and giving it away too much. Uh, luckily for them, Sheffield uh, uh, Wednesday weren't able to cash in it. They were a bit shit. <laughs> Uh, hence probably why they're 2-0 down. I mean, that, that, that second goal, the, the pass back to the goalkeeper was well short and Whitaker got in there and banged it in. Fantastic, really. But I think hopefully now, with a two-goal uh, advantage, that will settle our goal down because it was, say, it was niggly before that. But, but uh, now, hopefully, they'll go on and, and bag a few more and, and sit comfortably with it because uh, I, I don't... Sheffield Wednesday really don't have anything of any note. I can't see them getting into this unless we do something disastrous, which, to be honest, is wouldn't put it past us. But it's, it's for hours to go and, and, and notch up a few more. We're, you know, two nil up, uh, and now I think comfortable. After after got all the niggly out of the way, we should be we should be uh, comfortable now. Let's see. I'll, I'll chat with you at the end of the game. Come on, our goal. So it's finished 3-0 to Plymouth Argyle. Uh, well deserved in the end. It was a rough and tumble game. And it, uh, I thought actually Sheffield Wednesday weren't too bad. They just didn't uh, have the chances. and didn't put them away. But they had a lot of the ball. Uh, and, uh, when they came out for the second half, Plymouth Argyle, the game just went exactly the same as it did in the first half. It's a, uh, Sheffield Wednesday seemed to have all the ball. Uh, but weren't doing anything with it. And Plymouth Argyle were fanning around at the back. It was one of those. He just wanted them to get on with it. And... Uh, but in the end, uh, they, they, they scored uh, a pretty good third goal, Ryan Hardy. They, they, with, uh, three sort of Plymouth Argyle players broke through and, uh, you know, eventually it came to Ryan Hardy and he slotted it in the uh, bottom left-hand corner. But overall, well-deserved. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I liked it. It was good. It was a good game. So, anyway, if you've liked this, please like and subscribe. Uh, this is You've been watching The Home Park View. My name's Alan Kelly, and I'll see you on the next home game. Cheers. Bye.